Hello, in this video we're going to be looking at using a website called tracker.com to conduct some basic social media analysis. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by going to the website, which you can see you get to by going to www.tracker.com and you come here and you'll actually have to set up an account to be able to use it, but they do have an evaluation that you can check out. Uh, so the rest of this will assume that you've got an account and that you can log in. Once you do log in, you come to what's called a dashboard. And as you can see, I've got a lot of things going on here. And you will not see all this. It will be blank. And uh, the way we use Tracker is we search with keywords. And I like to use the advanced search capabilities. Uh, so depending on what you're interested in, I'm, I'm interested personally in studying rural people and places and the way that people talk about them in social media, right? So social media includes Twitter, Facebook, images, videos, news blogs, different types of forums, Google+. Uh, of course, it's all publicly available stuff that we're examining. And so what I've done is I have already started searching uh, using this keyword feature for the hashtag rural, the word rural, the words small town, redneck, white trash, backwoods, hillbilly, bumpkin, boondock, and hick. So these are all kind of, some of them derogatory. And uh, I save them. Now the nice thing is I can also download the results uh, up to 3,000. There's a limit on the number of results that can come in and, and that's a, a safeguard against exploding the servers. Uh, if you were to search for something like Obama or Justin Bieber or something like that, you'd get a lot more than a few thousand. And uh, wouldn't be, uh, it'd be unwieldy trying to work with that size of a file. So it's a quota file, quota sample. If you click on these icons that are, that are saved, you get to download the data. So let me show you how you create this. So essentially, I'll just, I'll start a new one here. And uh, I'll do a hashtag for this one and the, the words redneck and click search and then what, what it'll do is it'll start searching through the social media that are available that have that word and I could also include other additional terms if I wanted to down here in the advanced search capability I can also specify which sites to look in and I've got just use the default I let them all be tracked uh, and then you see the actual results and what you get are uh, the message that was posted right? and you get an influence rating which is the person who posted right so how much influence they have it's a, it's a relative term and some people have more and some people have less influence the date of the posting so you see that listed here, and then also the sentiment of the posting, which can be red, yellow, or green, as in negative, neutral, or positive. And of course, the sentiment rating is more useful if you're maybe using it for for business purposes. You want to track like a reputation of your product or your company name. Uh, the green would mean a positive review, red would be negative. I'm using it for more academic purposes, and so maybe it's less less helpful, but still kind of tells you the, the nature of the message, if it's negative or positive, right? So I go back here to the dashboard, and uh, you can see I can save my searches. The option down here is to save my search, and I get to name that. I just usually use the search term uh, as the name, and then it gets added to the save search box. And then what happens is my dashboard continues to follow that term over time. Uh, and it'll it'll actually go by the it'll rate them by the frequency with which they're being searched, and then you get this great little map down here that shows you the trends, uh, how frequently the terms are appearing in social media over the last seven day period. And of course, you can log in every week and track this. Uh, you can even do a screenshot and save this, or you can right click this and save it as an image file. And the other nice thing is you get to track the velocity changes you know are certain terms gaining traction or other terms losing traction 
Again, I'm using this for academic purposes, but if you were using it for business purposes, it would be very helpful to see if your product was gaining or losing in comparison to, say, a competitor's product or brand. And you also get to see over here the discovered terms, <laughs> keywords, uh, of course, my, my terms all being related to rural people and rural life, and some of the terms being neutral, some of them being negative. Uh, I get to see in what, what context are those terms being used. So not surprisingly, people usually think of farms and they think of rural life. But interestingly enough, you also see such things as poverty, right? Southern, tires, whatever that means, uh, Ukraine. Not sure how that filters in, but you know, if you click on these terms, uh, you get to drill down into them a little bit. Right, and it'll it'll show you the results where that where that term comes up. Right, so you can actually read into it a little bit. Uh, curious as to how tires come into all this, <laughs> but uh, you know, some sometimes the keywords are obvious and sometimes they are not. You can look into them that way. Uh, but you also get a breakdown. This pie chart shows you where the social media originates and. Typically, the vast majority that I find are coming out of Twitter. Again, this is publicly available stuff. Uh, the Facebook stuff, most people deal on Facebook in a very private way, not a public way. So you see the uh, usefulness of this site in terms of tracking different terms. Again, if you carefully select terms that measure a concept, right, then you have a bunch of competing indicators that you can follow over time. Uh, again, you can download the results in a spreadsheet, which is another very useful feature. If I click on hashtag rural, this little Excel icon, you'll see it says your CSV file has been added to the system queue and will be emailed to you when ready. And then what happens is if I go to my email, I receive a an Excel CSV file as an attachment. And what I do with that is I can open it up in Excel, I can examine it, in Excel or I can go another step and bring the Excel file into a text mining software package such as SPSS modeler or rapid miner and uh, from there I can do additional analyses of the results so those are some of the capabilities that I get from tracker the the internal tools which allow you to track reputation and, and, and that type of thing and the of course ability to save the results which brings it to uh, other software packages for more sophisticated or complex analysis techniques and that and that's it